friends, thanks for coming over to hang out with me for a few minutes. I wanted to talk a little bit about RAD or Reactive Attachment Disorder. Um, Our adopted daughter has Reactive Attachment Disorder and that comes from um, a lot of instability in her life before adoption and a lot of trauma and neglect. Um, Reactive attachment disorder is like taking a child who's never had a family and trying to convince her that a family is good for her and that it's good to form attachments and have a mom and a dad that she loves and siblings that she loves, but everything in her tells her that that's not safe. Um, Everything in her from her past experiences has taught her that it's safest to trust herself and not trust other people and to crave um, chaos and instability instead of um, the stability that comes with with family. So anyways, um, we're learning a lot about that situation and we're definitely not experts in it. But one thing that keeps coming up in my own life over and over while I learn how to parent her and try to help her is to figure out which battle I'm fighting. So having a child with RAD is just incredibly difficult. It's, um, you know, it's just traumatic for us. And obviously she's been so traumatized as well. And, um, it's just very, very difficult. So I find that so often I'm fighting God on this. I'm saying, God, this is too hard. This isn't what I pictured when we thought about adopting a little kid. I thought I knew it wasn't going to be a fairy tale, but I thought it was going to be a little bit more of a fairy tale than this. Um, so a lot of times I'm fighting this battle with him and I'm reminded that the battle I need to be fighting is against sin. Um, so Children with RAD want to create anger in you and create strife because that unfortunately is what's comfortable to them and what they know well. That's easier for them than than um, submitting or giving themselves up to a relationship with you. I don't know if I'm explaining it well, but that's um, hopefully that makes sense. Anyway, so the battle that I need to fight is with sin. It's fighting my own sin that comes up when, when we have these struggles and helping her fight her sin. So her sin is rooted in fear. And that's right where Satan wants her. He wants her to be fearful of everything because then he's in control of her. So my, the, my job, the battle I should fight is fighting my sin in these tough situations and helping her fight her sin, not fighting God about this battle being too hard. Um, A long time ago, I heard this quote that I have just loved and has stuck with me for years. It says that the battle didn't need David. David needed the battle. And there's just so much truth and depth to that. God did not need David to defeat Goliath. And before that, um, I think David killed a bear and a lion when he was a shepherd. And after Goliath, he, um, you know, was a great king and went on to lead many more battles. God did not need him for any of those battles. God could have brought about his plan in any way that he wanted. But David needed those battles. David needed to defeat the bear and the lion to learn to trust God before he encountered Goliath. And he needed the battle with Goliath so that he could further his relationship with God for all the greatness that was to come, the great battles and the great responsibility he would have as a king. And so that just really humbles me that obviously God does not need me to reach Katie's heart. In fact, I will never change Katie's heart. Only God can change hearts. And he instead 
gave me this battle because he knew that I needed it. He knows that I need this battle and for whatever pruning work he wants to do in me. I mean, it's definitely um, getting rid of anger issues in my heart and submitting to the Lord and relying on him more fully. So there's all these reasons that I need this battle. And that's just so hard to get into my head. <laughs> so I just am learning to trust that this battle was meant for me. It's purposeful. God designed this battle for me for a purpose because he wants he wants something better out of me than just me being the way I was before I had this battle. I hope this is making sense. Um, so when these battles arise on my best days, I'm just trying to thank him for it. When Katie is spiraling downward and I just cannot reach through the brick wall she has around her to comfort her and get to her heart. I'm just trying to thank God. I'm trying to literally say, thank you, God, for this battle. Thank you that you love me enough to give me this battle and to prune away the dead parts of me so that the alive parts that are living in you can be more fruitful and can grow more bountifully. So um, I hope that encourages somebody today. I think that this relates to people of all sorts of battles outside of reactive attachment disorder. So I hope that it encourages you to see what battle God is placing before you and to see that if you're fighting him on it and telling him he's wrong and this is too hard or you didn't want this battle, you're never going to win that battle. And you wouldn't ever really want to win that battle. You think you would, but that would only that fighting that battle only brings us further and further away from the Lord and creates strife between us. So hold fast to God and just keep fighting your sin and helping your children to fight their own sin as well. Thanks for listening, guys. See you later. Bye-bye.